Out in far west Texas, there's a place where night skies as dark as coal watch over miles and miles of untamed wilderness. With each sunrise, rays of heaven pry through thick clouds crowding above, illuminating Mother Nature's work. Stones of every color and plants of every shade are reborn in the golden light of a new day. And taking it all in are Dick and Bonnie Kane. It's so quiet, so peaceful. I mean, it, sometimes it's so quiet it hurts your ears. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it's very addictive. You know, you can just sit on the front porch and drink a glass of cold tea and no stress and just, just live a different kind of life. For Bonnie and her husband, Dick, living a different kind of life is nothing new. You see, while most of us have adapted to the high-def television, worldwide web surfing, smartphone texting society of today, Dick and Bonnie had a different idea. Used to, you could be in the country. Now they have satellite phones, but everything has changed very much in our life. You know, you can almost get swallowed up in it. I really have met a lot of people that really want to live a more simple life, but they just don't know how to get there. You, you have to have a reassessment of what's really good. For the Canes, that reassessment meant leaving modern life behind and calling what some say is the end of the earth home. But relocating to the far reaches of West Texas wasn't enough for this couple seeking the simple life. They decided they weren't just going to live off on their own. They were going to live off the grid. When I wash, uh, I wash clothes by hand. I, I make soap and uh, I, I sew. Uh, I do some hand sewing and then I sew by my treadle sewing machine. You know, since there's no electricity, then you do everything by hand because there's no uh, blenders or mixers. But I don't find that a problem. And in fact, I find those kind of things complicate your life. Electricity, running water, refrigerators and microwaves are all things of the past for Bonnie and Dick and that's just the way they like it. While Dick and his son Breeze spent their days keeping watch over their herd of longhorn cattle, Bonnie takes care of, well, everything else. I can just do whatever I need to do in this little area, you know. And that's my little work table right there. I can do about anything I want to do on that and this table here. This lady asked me one time, she said, there can't be life without a sink. <laughs> And I said, well, there is life without a sink. <laughs> I was raised poor. Well, actually, we didn't know we was poor until somebody come and told us. My mom cooked for us, you know, if we wanted cookies or something. So she was always home, and we had that special care and that love. Today, you know, cookies just bought in the store, and uh, the children don't really have that attachment of having the cookies done, you know, just out of love. Bonnie says it's all about holding on to those precious memories in a time where things, gadgets, and items have taken over our lives. She and her husband believe in that age-old saying, less is more. More time for nature, more time for fun, and more time to enjoy life. Life is beautiful, but people have to, to want for their life to be different because it's, it's getting too complicated. The more simple you live, 
actually the more time you have. I've had people say, well, if you do all of this stuff, how do you have time for anything? And I said, well, it's all in just keeping it simple. The more stuff you have, the more you have to clean. And, and it's not about stuff. It's about what makes you happy. And uh, everybody has to find that. It was once said that we should enjoy the little things in life because one day we'll look back and realize they were the big things. And living way out in the middle of rustic, beautiful Big Bend, Bonnie and Dick Kane have done just that. Yes, I believe that no matter where you're at, it's how can we simplify our life more and so we can spend time in what really counts. You know, touching somebody else's life, taking time to be with people, your kids, your family, the husband or wife, you know, just taking time. And I've heard people that obtained everything they thought was gonna make them happy and then only finding that there was no happiness in that. So to me, it's not about things, you know. It's about life, just living life to its fullest. Living, loving, laughing, you know, and just having a good time and simplicity. That's pretty. <laughs> like that. Good. <laughs>